The economy is taking a massive hit due to the coronavirus and with no end in sight, many are saying enough is enough. My next guest recently issued a call to action to reopen America's economic engine. Let's go ahead and bring in the founder of Markowski Investments and host of the national radio program Watchdog on Wall Street, Chris Markowski. Hi, Chris. Thanks so much for joining us today. Good afternoon, Greta. Recently, you said that we need to end this responsibly, quarantine at risk individuals and get back to work or we won't have an economy. Why do you think the longer this goes on, the worse it will get? Oh, without a doubt. I mean, I deal with small business owners all over the country, and the reality of the situation is, is there's only so much time that they have. There's only so much cash that they have. Um, the average small business can't last two months. In particular, certain businesses like restaurants, they can only last about 19 days with the cash that they have on hand. Now, the government has acted with this uh, this, this stimulus package. Again, the, the loans have not yet gone out yet. It's supposed to start on Friday, and there's still some confusion there. But that's only going to hold them over for so long. Um, if let's, let's see all these companies start to go under. There's already estimating 3% of restaurants are that are already out there that exist already are not going to open up. Uh, we have to slowly but surely do this. Um, there's responsible ways we can do social distancing. I go to a grocery store, they only allow so many people within the grocery store at a certain period of time. Uh, we can do this little by little, not just with restaurants, but with also retail as well. Chris, President Trump warned Tuesday that we have a very painful two weeks ahead. What are you expecting to see on the economic front as we continue to face this virus? It's one of those, those scary things. It's like a scary movie. You want to hide your head and you want to take a look at the economic numbers. But we all know that they're going to be bad. Uh, and it's not just that. It's also people waking up and seeing the totals add up. And, and unfortunately, I think some of the numbers that we're seeing right now, obviously the increase in, in the amount of people that have been have uh, contracted uh, the disease, I think we're going to see those numbers go up. But those are also tests that were taken a couple weeks ago when people still haven't received whether or not they've gotten it yet. So those numbers are going to continue to rise. I also think we're going to see the mortality uh, drop considerably. Uh, when all said and done, it was actually interesting, that they, all the underreporting that took place in China, uh, they're saying that the mortality could be under 1% there. And, and hopefully, I will keep our fingers crossed, that's the way it's going to be here as well. Chris, earnings season set to begin soon for the first quarter. Really rough first quarter, of course, for Wall Street and going to be a rough first quarter for many companies around the country. Second is expected to be the worst. How can investors interpret these first quarter earnings and guidance for the future? I tell you what, I, what I do um, and what I tell my clients to do is when you're taking a look at your portfolio and you're, you're looking at the companies that you have in there, when you're when you're facing a situation like we have today, the only thing, you don't look at the stock price. You don't even pay attention to any of that. You look at the company and say, are these good companies that I own? Without no attention to the stock price at all, are these good, high quality, fundamentally sound companies? Because what happens in a recession? Recessions act as almost like a lymphatic system for our overall economy. Companies with pre-existing conditions, weak companies going into a recession, they're not gonna make it. You own solid companies on the other side, you're gonna be fine. What's your advice for people looking to play the long game here for, on this dip for Wall Street? That's, that's the only game that I really know how to play. I, I do do trading. That, that's not what we do at Markowski Investments. Uh, it's not what we do with our clients. We're always looking at the fundamentals long term. And, and obviously, when you, when you have situations where markets drop, uh, I, I don't know where the bottom is going to be. We're going to continue to dollar cost average, as we always have. Uh, it worked. Uh, how many uh, different times I've had to deal with uh, bear markets in my career? What is this, fourth or fifth? Uh, the dollar cost averaging it works out in the end, as always. When this all comes to an end, how quickly do you think the U.S. economy can bounce back? It, it all depends on uh, sooner that we get back to work. The longer we stay out of work, the longer we're shut down, uh, the longer it's going to be. Uh, I know Donald Trump keeps talking about this uh, V type of recovery. Uh, I'm not seeing it right now. Um, if we keep extending, we keep pushing everything out further and further and further, it's going to take much, much longer. All right, Chris Markowski, the founder of Markowski Investments and host of the national radio program Watchdog on Wall Street, joining us to talk about the economy amid the COVID-19 outbreak. Thanks so much for coming on the show today, Chris. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.